Hey guys, welcome back as always, my name is Lazar and today we're going to be capping the frame rate in Starfield. If you have a look, right now I'm running 130 something frames per second and that can be fine if you're playing single player but if you're streaming or you're trying to get some of that GPU power to somewhere else at the same time, you might have some issues. You can cap the frame rate in a couple of ways. Unfortunately, Starfield, despite its high price tag, does not have a frame rate limiter in the option settings. What you can do is turn on VSync. Most of you are using displays that are capped to 60 FPS. The refresh rate of your panel is 60 Hz. That means turning VSync on, you're going to be getting yourself that refresh rate locked to the game's refresh rate, and it should make for a pretty good gaming experience and no visible tearing. Theoretically, that is. Keep in mind that VSync is fantastic for single player games immersive kind of games such as Starfield but it's not fantastic for multiplayer games that rely heavily on the competitive side because VSync is known to create some input lag so bear that one in mind. For those of you that have displays over 60 Hz like I do then you have two options you can either limit your displays refresh rate through the display settings perhaps it's OSD or something of the sort or you can go through the Nvidia control panel or the AMD catalyst software. You can access the Nvidia control panel or the AMD catalyst in a number of different ways however right clicking your desktop and selecting it is the fastest way. If it doesn't show up there it means you either haven't installed it and if you know you installed it go to start and manually search for it. In the manage 3D settings for the Nvidia control panel go to program files and here you will have a drop down. Select a program to customize and this is where you can customize or better said overwrite controls for basically any game. Now if Starfield doesn't show up here all you gotta do is press add and it should show up especially if you ran it recently. I have it in the drop down and if you don't want to scroll for everything simply press the letter and it's gonna be jumping to it. Here you go you got Starfield. Scroll down and you will find maximum frame rate and you're going to find a bunch of other options as well. We can go through these some other time. For the time being, simply go to max frame rate. Select on and select the FPS you want it to run at max. Let's say 60 in our case. Click OK. Click apply. Don't forget to click apply because if not, the bloody thing doesn't save. And then restart your game. It's not going to be working automatically. You do need to restart the application. And that is pretty much it. I restarted the game. And as you can see, now it's capped to 60 FPS and the game works quite well. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful to you. And before I go, honestly, I find it appalling that a game that costs this much doesn't have basic functionality such as a frame limiter. But hey, what can you do? Now you know how to get around it. And don't worry, AMD guys, you have basically the same functionality in your catalyst as well. Catch you in the next one. Bye.